just a <clears throat> quick little video here um, for Handmade Network. What we have here is a Macintosh PowerBook 145B. Uh, I don't know information about this thing. I'll have to look it up and type something up for you guys. But this was my dad's. And um, we can see here the screen's a little bit, a uh, little bit uh, borked up. But amazingly, this thing boots. I mean, this is ancient. It's been sitting in the basement like my whole life. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but uh, I was just, uh, yeah, I just booted it up to see. At first I thought it didn't boot because the screen was so dark, but uh, once I took a closer look, I realized that it had actually booted. And uh, yeah, I went into applications and saw um, we have here, oh, do we not, can we not uh, switch? Well, anyway, this is Microsoft uh, Works, I think it said it's called. It's three, Microsoft Works 3.0 or something like that. Um, looks like it has word processor, database, uh, spreadsheet, com, draw. Um, and I don't know what the deal here is here under applications, getting started and some folders, Lotus123, Maclink Plus, Stuff It Deluxe. I don't know if this is stuff that he had on here that's um, like imported from other applications or something because I think Lotus123 was an old spreadsheet software, right? Let's see what happens if we hit spreadsheet. Uh, New, I guess. Oh yeah, look at that. We've got ourselves a spreadsheet. And uh, the ball here, it's a ball mouse, as you can see. And uh, yeah, there's a single button here and it's like a left and right up here we've got a qwerty keyboard on it i believe it has a floppy drive um i think this is like a i don't know if this is for like a hard drive or battery or something um here well let, let's uh, look at the software a little bit more um, where is my mouse? The screen's pretty... Oh, there it is. The screen is pretty borked up, but, uh... Let's see here. File? Oh, you have to hold it. Apparently. Uh, let's see if we can get down to quit. You can see, yeah, the screen... Not in good shape. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, there's a quit here, but I don't know. Okay, I think, there we go, that should quit it, yep. Yeah, that was Microsoft Works 3.0. Um, yeah. Um, you can see he definitely, my dad definitely used this back in the day. He's got cabin information, CAD. Everything else, all caps. Quick find. Rescued space saver items. Space saver temporary. Work files. Excel send. This is Main Street. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Main Street. Not really familiar with, uh, with a system like this. I don't know what, uh, about this Macintosh, let's take a look here. If it uh, system software seven point one, it says um, Apple computer nineteen eighty three nineteen ninety two. 
I was born in 1993, so that would explain why this has been sitting on a bookshelf my entire life. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Power Book 145. Built in memory 8K, total memory 13K, system software 2.7K. How about that? <laughs> Let's see what else. Looks like it has alarm clock, battery, calculator, chooser, control panels, fax center, in case you need to send a fax, you know, I mean... It's got you covered. Keycaps, notepad, power merge, puzzle, scrapbook, silver lining light. Let's see, uh, let's take a look at the calculator. Oh, the screen. Can't really see it the screen. Uh, what else? What else? Let's maybe take a look at puzzle. See what sort of puzzle we have here. Oh yeah, I can't see it. The screen is so terrible. It's weird with the screen. It like Depending on what's open, sometimes it's easier to see, and sometimes it's harder to see. Uh, quit. Anyway, that's it. That's, that's this thing. Um, yeah, I'll shut it down and show you guys the back of it. Um, how do we shut this thing down? <laughs> uh, maybe they just want you to hold the power button? I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't see... I don't see an option. Special. The special option has clean up desktop, empty trash, eject disk, erase disk. Oh, restart, shut down, sleep. Okay, let's shut it down. Yeah, I'll show you. Here, let's do a, a boot again so you can see. There's a power button in the back of it. It's uh, it's back here. Ah, beautiful. And, okay, yeah, welcome to Macintosh. Connectix RAM doubler installed. Okay, so... So there's a, a RAM doubler. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I wish I wish you could see it better. The screen is so bad. Uh. Okay, we've got a loading a loading cursor, and it's it's booted now. I know you can't you can't tell. <laughs> But it is, trust me. And, well, it gave a beep, so that tells you. And there you can see. Um, okay. Uh, space saver. Uh, unable to complete an operation. Find the rescued items on the root of each disk. So maybe drives are failing in this, I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, let's shut it down again, and like I say, I'll show you the back of it. Uh, 
Tak. So, we have ourselves here a uh, ancient laptop. And yeah, in the back, you see, we have a little flap. And that opens up. And that right there is your power button. And uh, yeah, we've got some old school like PS2 connectors. And jacks. Um, I don't know, is this for like a fax or something? I don't know what fax machines use. This looks like Ethernet. Um, and yeah, this is the cable. He also had some accessories. I didn't get them out here because I just wanted to see if this thing would, you know, boot or, or anything here. But, uh, yeah, the, the power cable that we're working with here, this is uh, 7.5 volts, according to this label. And you can see it's got a Apple logo on it. But, yeah, that, uh, that's this old thing. Let me know if you want to see more of it, I guess. Um... I'll see if I can find some other devices. We used to have an old uh, an old Macintosh system down here as well, like a you know a proper um, I guess PC wouldn't be the right term for a Mac, but you know what I mean, uh, a tower. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be here anymore. I, I guess we must have gotten rid of it. I don't know. Maybe it's in storage somewhere. And my uncle was the guy that uh, hooked me up with an Apple II back in the day, and I wouldn't be surprised if he still uses Apple IIs. I'll have to contact him, and maybe we can get some some more old-school Apple content. Um, but that's it, I guess. Thank you for, for watching, and yeah. Stay risky, I guess. Stay... Ancient, ancient Apple-y. And I'll see you in whatever I post next. Whenever that may be.